20 years ago, Britney Spears was on top of the world. She was riding a four-year run of Platinum No. 1 albums, a Grammy Award and a string of world tours that paid her tens of millions of dollars. In 2002, Forbes named her the world's most powerful celebrity, with an estimated $40 million of income before taxes and fees. In terms of both earnings and star power, she was ahead of her contemporaries Jessica Simpson and Jennifer Lopez, and even today can say she's sold more concert tickets and albums than either. But when it comes to net worth, the fallen pop queen has lagged far behind, Spears, once a dominant and ascending force in pop culture, has a net worth of $60 million, Simpson and Lopez each have built fortunes of more than $100 million, according to Forbes estimates. Beyoncé, who started her solo career a few years after the one-time Mickey Mouse Club alumnus broke into her own as an adult, is worth seven times as much, not including any wealth from her billionaire husband Jay-Z. So what went wrong? After several years of media scrutiny, Spears suffered a public mental breakdown and was put under court-ordered conservatorship in 2008. The judge handed control of her career and finances to her father, James, who is now the villain of the fan-driven hashtag Free Britney movement, a social media advocacy effort out to free Spears from the conservatorship. The setup hasn't been good for her career. Or her net worth. In recent years, Spears has resisted her father's control while also paying millions of dollars in legal fees tied to the conservatorship that is charged with tightly controlling her lifestyle, as well as child support to her ex-husband Kevin Fadelein. Court documents reviewed by Forbes last year revealed that her assets are mostly held in various brokerage accounts, real estate and cash. Her personal fortune hasn't lagged for lack of effort, by 2008, Spears had released five hit records and embarked on six major tours. In the decade that followed she delivered another four albums and four world tours, as well as a Las Vegas that ran from 2013 to 2017 and grossed $137.7 million, according to Caesars Entertainment. But things began to unravel. Once a popular choice for endorsements, Pepsi, Skechers and Samsung, she stopped doing television commercials in 2015. Spears hasn't released new music since 2016 and she stopped touring in 2018. The next year, she called off another lucrative Las Vegas residency that would have seen her earn at least $350,000 per night. My client has informed me that she is afraid of her father, Spears lawyer Samuel D. Ingham III Ingham said in court in November, according to the Associated Press. She will not perform again if her father is in charge of her career. At the hearing, Spears was hoping to permanently remove her father as her conservator.